hi everybody and welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live right now at Illegal Mezcal headquarters in Greenpoint, Brooklyn with Christina Vane. Christina, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Congratulations to you in advance because the record, Make Myself Me Again, the second record is out on May 20th and we're about to hear four songs from it right now. What do you feel like doing first today? Um, I'm gonna start with the title track because it's coming out soon. So here's a little sneak preview for everybody. And, uh, and it's a song that makes me feel good and I hope it makes other people feel good too. It's called Make Myself Me Again. This has been a total pleasure getting to know you over the last hour and listening to your music and uh, and finding out more about it. We see uh, see that John O'Ricks is attached to this as producer, as is Brooke Sutton from Blackberry Smoke, and John O and the Wood Brothers. We just ran into them recently. They're wonderful people, wonderful musicians. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like to work with John O and with Brooke on the on the record? Yeah, it was a total pleasure. Um, I love the studio. I met. Brooke first and he shares that space with the Wood Brothers and with Jono and they've worked on a lot of stuff together and I really liked the work he did on their album actually he produced uh, I'm spacing on the name the drop in the bottle or whatever it was called yeah it was, yeah, a, yeah. It was when I first moved to Nashville and I just really loved that production so I wanted to see like what he could do for my music and it was just a really great like thing from start to finish and Jono is a machine on the drums and bass, and uh, Br Brooks on the bass is the same thing. So it was like two machines, and then me. Um, and we kept it pretty simple. There's my buddy Jake Friel played harmonica, and then I had Bronwyn and Bi Bronwyn Keith Hines and Billy Contreras both played some fiddle on the banjo tunes. Uh, Carl Smackula played guitar on those, and then. Uh, Tyler Larson and Kyle Tuttle also played on those string tunes. So there's a little more guests with the banjo tunes, but we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I'm looking forward to, to getting to that. What do you feel like doing second off of uh, Make Myself Me Again 
today? Um, this is the first single from the album, so I'm being predictable, I guess, but there's a reason that I chose them for the singles. It's because I love playing these songs. And uh, This is called How You Doing, and the video came out last month, so it's out there already. And it goes like this. Consequences of some wasted time I can't tell you how to live your life But something tells me you ain't living right Oh, how you doing? Tell me what you're doing I wanna come on over, do it with you Tell me you ain't leaving You must have your reasons You're making it too hard for me to get you later in an empty bed it ain't easy but i do my best to forget about the times you said oh how you doing tell me what you're doing i wanna come on over do it with you tell me you ain't leaving you must have your reasons you're making it too hard for me to get you Denser mics, you don't have to get right up on them. <laughs> well, that I know we're headed for an instrument change right now, but before before we switch over, can you talk to us a little bit about that particular instrument? Perhaps show oh, the internet yeah. the back of that particular instrument and tell us what's what's special about it to you. The back is special. <laughs> it's very special. Baby got back. Check it out, all camera <laughs> angles. Um, it's blue, and I am obsessed with the color blue and like in a kind of moderate way, I have to admit, but I, so moderate that I didn't want my whole guitar to be blue, but I really wanted something blue on there. So I asked National to do a blue burst on the back. Uh, so this is a Rezo Rocket cutaway um, steel, kind of the most basic of everything that you could get if you are getting a, a steel bodied National guitar, I guess, single cone. And the front color is called Aged Ivory. And yeah, it's got the Ivoroid headstock and the diamond pickups. And I think I should stop talking because it could go like a lot more in depth. Do you, than know, that, but. Do you know which pickup do you have there? Yeah, the it, the, they come with slim lines, mm -hmm. which are like um, kind of Nationals brand of like the same, I think similar wiring to like Lawler pickups. Yeah. I might be wrong about that, but I really like it. It came with it in this and my Blues Junior is like my favorite combination for tone. So I don't even really need many pedals with this. Like when I have my band and I'm rocking out a little more, um, I do like to use my distortion pedals, but nice. yeah. And so how about the instrument that you're changing to right now? What in particular about, uh, about this banjo that you just picked up is, uh, makes, it, makes it extra special? Well, it's, um, 
The first banjo that I got, and the only one, well, it's not the only one I have. I have a little fretless kind of camping fun thing, but um, I used to work at McCabe's Guitar Shop in Los Angeles, and that's where I got, oh no, I don't need this, I got turned on to the banjo. And I fell in love with this one without really knowing anything about banjos, which was like a classic mistake. But because I was working there, I got like a dealer discount on it. So I was like, I'm gonna get this fancy, it's called a White Lady. Um, it's made by Eastman. So it's a replica of the old Vega White Ladies, but the tone is really bright um, and like chimey, which I love. I'm probably at some point gonna experiment with making it a little darker, like changing out the tone ring maybe, or just finding a way, or just getting another banjo, which is preferable. Um, but it served me really well, and it's, it has a, a gold tone SMP pickup, kind of like on the dowel stick, which is a really fun little move that the tech at McCabe's helped me out with, so it can plug in as well, which is nice. And then I had this scoop added maybe a year or two years ago now, just because I like to play over the neck and not hit. Is this the one, do we hear this this banjo all over Make Myself Me Again? Yeah, I, I don't have any others and I didn't borrow any for the record, so I think I did three string band tunes on the album and you're gonna hear two of them today, so. Uh, yeah, so. Was it River Roll? Yeah, I think that sounds true. Yeah, that's what my notes tell me. Yeah, this song just came out uh, this week, like not long ago at all on Friday. So uh, the video and the song are both out there in the world, and it's about the end of the world. As we know it, it's the end of the world, and I feel fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these One has water, one has mezcal, so... Cheers. 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 Thank you at Paste for having me. It's really fun to be here. Yeah, thank you, Christina. Thank you, Illegal. This is, uh, this is fun, man. This is about the best like, job there is. Thank you, Illegal. I do love a good mezcal. Um, that's not even scripted. I just, I really do. Um, okay. So, yeah, River Roll about the end of, the, of times. River roll, river roll, keep my body close to my soul, to my soul. River, keep me steady so I don't fall. to wonder who's walking down below. It's all for us, we give it up. We're gonna fill the lake with iron and rust. Golden shore, there's always more. But one day I'm tired of living, I'm tired of dying Without love, without love I've got nothing but my sorrow Without love, it's all for us We give it up, we're gonna fill the lake with our
thank you, Christina. Um, I wanted to, after the previous, previous song, How You Doing, I wanted to talk about that video, but I also wanted to talk about the resonator and about the banjo, but yeah. let's backtrack a little bit to the video for How You Doing. I've watched it a number of times uh, since we agreed to do this, and it's awesome to watch. It seems like Thanks. it was a good time to have made. Um, for yeah. music videos, for you, do you tend to bring a concept or an idea to a director and say, let's execute this, or do you just put a song into the world and give it to a trusted visual artist and say, do whatever you want to do with this? Or how did that one come, come into life? Um, well, Oceana Colgan is the videographer and director. She kind of wore like all the hats because, you know, I don't ne necessarily have the scale to like do a full team video um, so I sort of came to her with a lot of the ideas for the songs and she would input as we were brainstorming like there were some that I had more fleshed out than others uh, how you doing was really fun I mean it was all my friends dressed up great and like playing instruments my instruments you know for fun um, hanging in front of the double wide yeah, yeah, and I, I don't know if anyone out there knows Rachel Byman or George Jackson, but it's at their spot in Madison, so it was really just like... Nice. A good yeah, we just recorded with her at, uh, at Green River with okay, Rachel. Okay, yeah, so you yeah. guys know Rachel. She's yeah. amazing, you know, and she, they happen to have this really cool little trailer back there, so um, not to give away the magic or anything, but it's, it's right in our backyard, kind of. Um, but yeah, so th it was really fun to do, and Oceana has done all the videos. So, you know, anything you're seeing from this album cycle are, are her and I met her when I first moved to Nashville and she took these really awesome photos that I still use all the time. So she's very talented. Nice, yeah, I agree very much. Um, I've enjoyed that video and there's a lot more it sounds like to, to dive into. I highly recommend that everybody who's watching this video right now, keep watching this until this wraps and then go check out the music video for How You Doing. It is delightful. And uh, we still, in this session, got one more song coming up from uh, from Make Myself Me Again, which is, if, if you're just joining us, the internet, that's out on May 20th. And so thank you internet. for all the music from it. What do you want to play forth today? Um, I'm going to play another banjo tune that's on the new album. That's all you're going to hear about from me for like the next couple weeks until it comes out. But uh, yeah, this one's called Time for Leaving, so it's also a good ending song. I didn't even think of that. But it's, it's about what it sounds like. It's about knowing when to leave. Um, and yeah, thanks for having me again, you guys, and for listening. kitchen door the days were long the hours short is nothing sacred anymore well it's time for leaving baby time for leaving baby time for leaving baby time for leaving baby could stay but you won't love me either way so it's time for leaving baby time for leaving baby time for leaving baby time for leaving baby
<laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. Yeah, cheers to you. Thank you for coming by and playing. And uh, keep hanging out. Arlo's coming by right now. I know you've got, there's upcoming shows you got in two days from now, right? In Philly with Arlo McKinley. Is that true? Yeah. I also have um, tomorrow night, Wednesday, in Warren, Rhode Island. I'm playing the Galactic Theater, which is a really, really fun time if anyone's in that area. But the next night, I'll be at 118 North with Arlo, opening for him. So really excited about that. And then Saturday, I'll be at Hill Country Barbecue in Washington, D.C., opening for Strip Mall Ballads. And Sunday in B Chord Brewing in Round Hill, Virginia. So I still have four shows where you can see me if you're in the area. But thank you for tuning in. That was, you know, definitely like the World Wide Web is a bigger a bigger reach than maybe those four places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are many dates. They are all uh, where you would expect to find them on the internet, on Christina's uh, various socials and the website. And thank you, man. This is yeah. this is a whole lot of fun. Uh, travel safely between all those dates and best of thank continued you. luck on the record. It comes out May 20th. So thank you for the preview. Yeah, um, I hope you guys run, run to your computers and buy it when it comes out. Thanks, everybody. All right, see you next time. All right, bye. That's it. Yeah.